get it. Why? I'm not ready. What do you mean? You're not ready. You're not ready to be happy. No. Uh... I get it. I get it. You're nervous. You know, I get you. I mean, you know I do. It doesn't feel right. What do you mean? Does it... We're great. Come on, we're great together. You know that. Yeah, but this has nothing to do with you. Oh, don't, don't give me. Don't give me. It, it's not you. It's me. But you know that that's true. I mean, don't you think I want to be happy? Well, seriously, I don't know. I know that we could be happy. Carla, look at me. Carla? Is there someone else? that we're going through, everything that Hope's going through. I... Yeah, I'm sorry. Look, I'm sorry everything was, it was building up and building up. But I'm here now. Our little girl is in there being operated on by strangers and we can't do anything. I can't protect my own daughter. You're doing everything that you and can. And what if it's not enough time? It's going to be fine. I promise to you, everything is going to be fine. <laughs> but it looks too big to be one of yours. Well, honey, could you finish your homework upstairs, please? Oh, upstairs, but... Upstairs, please. Well, if you must know, it's part of a multi-pack of popular TV characters that I purchased at Freshco's. Like? Like Mulder and Scully. Dellboy and Rodney? The two Ronnies and Hale and Pace. Hale and Pace? Yes. One suspects they went to Smith and Jones but couldn't get the rights. Yes, but they managed to get the stock rights for Mulder and Scott. Mary, <laughs> since when have you been such a massive X-Files fan? I told you. It was part of a multi-pack. Purchased through my fondness for Ronnie Barker, if you must know. <laughs> Those I'd love to see. <laughs> hey, Mary. Mary, look. Look, I just want to say that if you ever wanted to bring Brendan or, or any other male friend back here, then, um... It's your home, too. I don't know what you mean. Or, or tea. Right? Tea, tea's good. Kids would enjoy that. Mary... You're just scared. After everything you've been through. It's not that. It's not just that. Uh, so what is it? I love you, uh, and I thought you loved me. You know what it is so much? It's Johnny. The business. It's a fire. I know, but... I mean, that's got nothing to do with you and me. The two of us, together, we're stronger. You know, I can get you through anything, I make it better. Can't. You can't, though, can you? Because it's every time I walk down that street, it's every time I come back to the flat, it, I, I can't do it. I'm sorry, I just can't oh, do God, it. Please don't say it's that. It's like I've been suffocated by all of you, by all of this. OK, right, well, uh, let's get out of here. Go away. I don't know. Go anywhere. Just get out of here. Please. That has got to be one of the best jobs, I reckon. I mean, actually getting paid to eat in restaurants. <laughs> oh, but since it's overcooked, he wanted rare. Ooh. Any rare, it'd be eating grass. Hey, bet the chef's in a good mood now his name's up in lights. Some service would be good. Overcooked, apparently. Table four. Really? 
put another one on. A minute each side. Yeah, and I'll just cook a rare steak. Hey, congratulations on the review. Uh, and Zidane, you see, I know how important an assistant can be. Pass it on. Actually, we were hoping that you could do the canopies for our grand opening tomorrow. Well, if that's all right. Discuss it with Leon. Another review like that last one. You'd be lucky to hang on to him. Oh, well, I bow to your experience on that front table for two, was it? Yeah. <laughs> Look, I'm not going to stop. Hey, Dad. All right, trouble. Are you going somewhere nice? Uh, no, not really. She's got a date. Really? Yeah, really. Go on, then who's the unlucky fella? Oh, did you meet him on a singles night? Um, yeah, yeah, I did, actually. Oh, that must be a relief for you. Sorry? Well, when you're a single woman, it can be very difficult to find somebody when you're your age. Oh, well, I don't know, Sal. You know, you managed to land him, didn't you? You know, once you'd made your mind up. Hey, I am here, you know. I admire you. I really do. You would have to drag me kicking and screaming before I would subject myself to that kind of humiliation. Mm. Take my advice. If you've found someone, you hold on to them. All right, do you reckon? Yes, I do. Uh, yeah, OK. Right, sweetheart, I'm going. You be good. And you? Tim! Mm. See ya. Oh. I feel a lovely mum. Oh, thanks, darling. Listen, pop in tomorrow before you go to school. Bye, Sally. Mm. I'm starving. Oh, good. Got broccoli baked for tea. <laughs> oh, right, thanks, love. So, you've had no news of it, then? No, but then, as far as Nessa's concerned, it's always been a case of out of sight, out of mind. Oh, excuse me. Well, we were just going No, anyway. no, I won't be a tick. It's nice to chat. <laughs> Hello, Roy's Rolls. There you are. No, With sorry. Nessa out of the picture, now's your chance. Oh, Rita, shush. Oh, don't be so coy. Oh, listen, I have been called many things in my time, but coy has never been one of them. I just think it's better if I keep my distance for a while, no, you know? Self-preservation, you can call it. Oh, that was uh, Roy's Auntie Jean in Hastings. She wants him to call her about his mother. About Sylvia? Oh, Roy, um, your Auntie Jean's called and she needs to speak to you about your mother. Right, well, we'll shoot off and leave you to it. Yeah, OK. Hey, uh, any news on young Hope? Yeah, Fizz and Tyrone are waiting to speak to the consultant, so... Oh, yeah. well, it's fingers crossed then, isn't oh. it? OK. Anyway, see you, Lord. Yeah, bye, 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 bye. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs> I felt they might appreciate some time on their own. Roy, I, I think your auntie wanted you to call her. Uh, look, if, if you're all right about uh, locking up, I, I think I might do this upstairs. I'm so sorry to have kept you waiting. OK, so I've had a meeting with a surgeon and everything's looking good. The tumour's been removed without incurring any damage to the surrounding organs. And is she OK? Can we see her? Of course. We just need to do observations, and as soon as she comes well, round... Well, everything went well. As well as we could have hoped for at this stage. So what happens next? Well, we'll keep an eye on hope for the next four or five days, and in the meantime, the tumour will be sent off for analysis. And then when will we find out? Another seven to ten days. All we ever seem to do is wait. But if it's worth it in the end... Yeah, it will be. It'll all have been worth it. I'm not Peter. I know. I'll never cheat on you. I know. Maybe that's the thing. Maybe you're too good. <gasps> you hate yourself? Wallowing in self-pity. I'm not worthy. I'm not good enough. It just sounds stupid. Ridiculous. Yeah, OK, thanks. So, OK, so what do you want me to say? Yes, you're right. You're not good enough. That's why I've asked you to marry me. I'm thinking of you. Yeah, well, do you know what? Don't. Because I'm not going to be the reason you won't give us a chance. <laughs> well, you look great. Oh, OK. Look at you. You don't scrub up so bad yourself. <sighs> Faye? Um, I've dropped her off at Sally and Tim's early, so... Right, well, I thought we could go for a drink before dinner, if you're ready. Phone street cars. Oh, I think it might be a better idea if we order a black cab. Don't want to start the gossip mongers off, do we? So, um, If you fancy having one here first... I, I mean, 
Do you fancy having a drink first? <laughs> I've got a bottle of wine in the fridge. Yeah, sounds great. OK. Come on. Tell me. What's changed? Huh? Here you go. You're Brian. If anyone knows themselves, it's you. So what is it? What's changed? I can't do this. <laughs> Colin. You've got to get over this. You love me, right? I mean, that's all that matters, isn't it? Isn't it? We seem pretty certain that. I read this book once, uh, some kind of business book. You know, when I was going to be uh, the next Terence Conman, Ken okay, Sanders. <laughs> and it said, there's nothing more intoxicating than certainty. Because certainty is what we all want. And if you believe something enough, you'll be able to persuade other people to believe it too. I'm certain of this. I'm certain we should be together. And I'm certain that while there's a breath in my body, I'll always love you. And I'm certain that you, Carla Connor, with all your flaws, are the woman I'm going to marry. Intoxicating enough for you. <laughs> it's a Jamie Oliver recipe. Well, it's adapted from because I didn't have any almonds or cauliflower. What's in it? Well, it's sort of in the title, Broccoli Bake. You know, Jamie and I are definitely on the same page when it comes to healthy eating. Although, I must say, I'm always very surprised by him because he, he does strike you as a little bit on the common side. I don't think I'd ever eaten broccoli until I met you, love. Oh. I didn't eat an olive until I was nearly 30. I thought it was a grape. I had a right shock. Well, it's a good job your taste buds have got more sophisticated. And that needs a bit more salt. So, how's Craig? Yeah, good. The other day, right, he drew a picture of his teacher. He's got dead weird hair. What, that mask guy? Anyway, it was totally brilliant. It's extraordinary, considering his bats. I mean, I doubt she'd know the difference between a Banksy or a Botticelli. What's Botticelli? Oh, he's a painter from the olden days. Why don't you show that book you've got? 50 paintings to see before you die. Mind you saying that, I was nearly dead by page six. I'll show you after tea, if you like. In that case, I think I'll go for a pint, if that's all right. We haven't finished. I'm a bit full, to be honest. That uh, Cathy, she gave me a bacon balm earlier after I gave her a display cabinet going over with me, shall we? Anyway, I've, I've eaten most of it. A second, if you like. Oh, absolutely. Mm. Goodbye, ladies. That's really good news. Yeah, it is. No, it is. Of course it is. It just feels like no sooner we're over one obstacle than there's another one just waiting to trip us up. Oh, she's done really well, though, hasn't she? Oh, she's been brilliant. Yeah, it's ridiculous. You know, we're here surrounded by all these machines, and I know it's about the medicine and science, but I always find myself sitting here with my fingers crossed, just hoping our luck hasn't run out. It's not going She should be awake by now. Oh, look, do you want me to go and check with Is she OK? Hope's doing very well. <sighs> Can we see her? Of course, she's been asking for yeah. you. Can I get you anything else? What? Oh, yeah, uh, coffee, please. No, thank you. Well, I hope Romeo's worth all them pounds you're piling on them hips coming in here every oh, night. Oh, you are hilarious. And actually, he is. Every last ounce. Oh, thanks for popping in. Been busy? Yeah, I've had to turn away three groups. Glad to hear it. Can you just pass the reservations, bud? Oh, she's telling the truth. Yeah, I believe you. Both of you. Actually, give me that. Let's have a look. 
also we could um well uh, yeah what about the fourth week in may for what for getting married really yes really uh sounds good what you're getting married here i'm just something low key huh? well that sounds sensible yeah, and it'd be cheaper not something you say in front of the bride. To be. Bride to be. I'm just being practical. Uh, word of advice. One word a woman doesn't want to hear when she's planning a wedding. Practical. Please note. Um, I've, I've, I've just got something in the game. Hey, you could save yourself a few, Bob, by wearing your last wedding dress. Still in fashion. Nobody asked you, but thanks for your input. I'll just get your bill. Uh, no, I haven't had my coffee yet. Oh. Andy said you're having your wedding here. So that'll make the catering a lot easier, right? I could totally do it. Oh, I don't know. I mean, we'd have to do something pretty special. So what you're saying? I'm not up to it. No, well, of course you are. Yeah, thanks, Sidan. Well, congratulations. Yeah. Here's wishing you everything you wish for yourself. Better get back to work. Yeah, but the funny thing was, didn't I'm like... Oh, all right. Yeah. Oh, great, thanks. Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. It's okay. just... OK, it's fine. Oh. Don't worry about it. In fact, I quite like it, you know, all this uh, cloak and dagger stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Hiya. Hiya. Anyway, up to myself now. You know, I should have been a bit more sensitive. I should have pretended to ask her that the sock was mine, right? Evermore to be known as Sockgate. Mm. Listen, if you'd done that, Mary would have been even more mortified. She'd know that you knew, mm. which is far worse than pretending not to know. Mm. That it belonged to Mary's fella, I mean. <laughs> mm. You know, you are definitely going to have to up your game when Tracy opens that shop. Mm. Hey, listen. Do you think he's actually, uh, like, a fella? You know, I suppose he must be, mustn't he? Well, I reckon the answer's in that sock. Oh. <laughs> anyway, whoever Mary chooses to see, it's up to her. Why? Because we are all entitled to a private life. Mm. Enough said. Please, <sighs> carry on. <laughs> Mary. Mary, I was just saying to Erica here, we think he's great. You got yourself a boyfriend. Oh, what? Poor Mary, you mean? <sighs> no, listen, not... No, he was just... Yes, thank you, Erica. He was expressing dismay that a hitherto trusted employee has taken liberties under his roof. No, Mary, I said no such thing. And I should like to reassure both of you that there will be no more socks making an appearance on the landing or anywhere else for that no, matter. Mary, seriously, it's not a problem. Oh, but it is. I'm living under your roof, and it's unforgivable of me to flout your trust and your confidence in me as a role model for your precious children. Mary, uh, should you? I don't think I should get too close to her time. My throat's feeling a bit sore. and thanks for hanging around. Well, of course. You look like you could do with some sleep. Mm. Fizzit bears the brunt of it. Well, if there's anything more we can do, you know. Yeah, you've only got to ask anything. No, no. I'm telling you, if she'd still been on her own, I don't know how she'd have coped. No one she could rely on you. Well, it's meant everything. Right, I'm going to get you a hot drink before you fall asleep standing up. Do you want anything? Is everything all right? I mean, obviously it's not, but... Ty... Look, everyone needs someone to talk to. And you obviously don't want to offload on face because of everything, but... I'm here. And I won't say out to anyone if you don't want me to. Ty, can you give us a hand, please? She's woke up. She wants a drink. <laughs> I'm fine, thank you. I know you miss Steve, but you have to go to bed sometime. You are kidding me. 
I mean, I do miss him and, uh, you know. Oh, but I do not miss his snoring. Oh, the joy. Mm. Well, you've got all that to look forward to, haven't you? And pretty soon, from what I hear, Tracy Barlow told me that I shouldn't expect any business from my cheapskate mate because she's getting married at the bistro in May. Oh. Yeah, I am sorry. <laughs> I don't care about the stupid business. But what happened to putting it off for a bit, taking things slowly? I know, I know, and, you know, I, I did, I tried. So what changed your mind? And please don't tell me you've been drinking. Nick, changed my mind. Okay, because Nick loves me. I mean, he really loves me. I don't just think that. I know it because I feel it. And so why would I want to throw all that away and lose him? I'll tell you why. Because that's what I do. I, I screw up. And then I wallow in the fact that I've screwed up. OK, so... So I'm going to marry him. Because I love him too, and I want to make him happy. We can be happy, you know. Yes, you can. You can. And we both know that Nick's going to do everything he can to make that happen. So I reckon it's going to depend on you in the end. Don't you? Your Monday nights just got a whole lot sunnier and funnier. Brand new Benidorm starts next here on ITV. And don't forget to catch Sunday Night's Endeavour on ITV Hub. Give it a whirl whenever you fancy.